Hey guys, today we're in Gladstones in Long Beach, California, and standing next to me is Chef Pete. Hey Chef, thanks for having us out. How you doing, Dan? And Chef has lots of experience cooking fish and preparing fish. And what he's gonna do for us today is a demo on how to fillet yellowtail and a rockfish. Well, here we go. I got lucky I've got two fish delivered to me um, that were already gutted. So that made my life a little bit easier, but otherwise you can see where um, the butcher here ran a knife here mm -hmm. and, and basically cut this open and pulled out all of the, uh, the guts that are in, inside the, the fish here. Um, the first cut that I like to make is a cut that's behind the head here where I'm kind of running uh, in, right, right, right behind his head and around this first gill and make that cut right there. That's kinda my like, first cut. Is that like behind the collar? Or? Yeah, so the collar's still here. Okay. And that's and that. By the way, you take that one and you marinate that in some uh, uh, hoisin sauce and a little barbecue sauce and throw that on the grill. That's, that's good. some good eating right there. So basically, I've, I've I've cut this away and I like to turn my knife in here, just on that bone, just a little bit. Now, some fish, the small one you're going to see here, I'm going to be able to take the knife and just run it this way. But this, the backbone that's inside this thing is real bubbly, and if you did that one, you're just going to butcher it. So what you want to do here is you want to run the knife along this, uh, right along the bones here follow that fin line and just come all the way down here until you get to the end here and then kind of work your knife blade in here mm -hmm. and release here and now what we're going to do is you're going to see that uh, I've got this backbone right here so I'm going to start here and just kind of work my way through it with the knife releasing the meat so I'm getting a good yield you know mm -hmm. You just have to go nice and easy. There's no yeah, rush. Yeah, you have to be patient with it. If you've already caught the fish, it's dead. <laughs> yeah. And once you get to this other side, the other side, it, it, you can just, it, your, your knife naturally follows the, uh, the, the bone structure that, that's, that's inside the fish. So it gets kind of tricky down here at the end mm -hmm. because the filet gets bigger. And it's always fun to have never cut on a table so high before. <laughs> <laughs> Used to the standard 30 inch. Yeah. And so here we go. This should be coming off here right now. And uh, I think I cut through. No, one more, little, one more little touch right here, right here. And nice. so there you have it. Now you got a nice filet of yellowtail that's been sitting out here like this. Um, Always working with a knife, work with dry hands, not wet hands, because you don't want it to slip. Okay. Now we're gonna fillet this thing out so we can eat it, right? right? I missed a couple bones here. We'll just take those off, that's no problem. Get this little white skin off here and get down to this fin, get him off. Now the belly's really nice and, and fatty and, and delicious. A um, Little bit of that goes bye-bye. We don't wanna eat the, that stuff there. Um, one more little bone right here. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. That's usually where you find the bigger bones on the fillet is that little bottom part there. Yeah, probably. so now there's bones that run in the middle here. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this thing around like this and uh, we're going to let the knife do all the work, but this is how we're going to take the skin off. Um, some fish you can eat the skin and some fish uh, you don't want to eat the skin. The yellowtail is really not that good, so, but salmon skin is really good and that rockfish there is really, really good. Get the knife here, hold it about 15 degree angle, get, get, get a hold of this skin and just kind of pry the skin away and leave the knife kind of almost still. And there, that skin comes off like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see how we did over here. Pretty nice good. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Now, so for me, I'm gonna take this off because this here Probably is gonna, the, where the this, is, been. this is gonna be some delicious taco meat right here. You can make some really nice, beautiful tacos with this. You can eat this sashimi style. On, on a sushi plate, mm -hmm. just start slicing it up and make yourself a nice little sushi plate, eat this one raw, make tacos. But now I'm gonna take the bones out of this one. They're hard to pull out, so I just as soon cut them out. So I'm gonna cut those out. I'm gonna add a little bit more meat to our meat pile here. So we've got the bones are away. And now we have a little bit of that bloodline right here. We'll take a little bit of that off. It's not much, it's just a little bit. And so now you have a nice meat filet. Yeah. And then uh, 
Looks like I missed a little bit of skin right here. So come back and snag that one. Okay. So now we're, now we're down to our little fillet right here. This fillet of yellowtail. That's a beautiful looking piece of fish right there. We're going to cut this on, an, on a little bias cut here. Make some nice little medallions out of it. And you can see how you can see how this is where this is where you get the uh, restaurant quality fillet of yellowtail right there. Wow. And that's how it's done. So there's some beautiful pieces of yellowtail and some meat for later on for tacos and we'll fillet that one out later but there you go Beautiful. same technique when you flip it on the other side mm -hmm. you just run the knife the same way and, and follow this bone on the flip side and we get we get the same things done and i don't think that people appreciate how well of a job you did but if you take a good look here at the carcass that's just bone there's no meat on it at all and that just comes from years of experience lots of people always ask me on the fishing chest how do you cut up your fish and this is exactly how you do it. You just gotta take your time and do it. You can have it done on the sport boats. The guys, you know, they appreciate you doing it on the boat. And that'll make your meat the freshest, cleaning it as soon as possible. But if you catch your own fish, this is the way you wanna do it. Take your time at it. And thank you very much, Chef. Oh, you're quite welcome. Hey, Chef, that was great what you did with the yellowtail. How do you do the rockfish? Well, this one's a much easier. Again, it came to me already gutted. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you had to, if you had to gut this yourself, just, just take a knife, run it here and just bring it in and open it up and take out all the, all the guts. But now he's easy to work with. He's a much smaller fish and his, his backbone is really, really flat. So again, it's the same technique. I'm coming in here behind the head like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is going to sound really, really funny, but in this particular circumstance, it's almost like a not perfectly sharp knife is a better knife to use for this. Really? Because when you have a really, really sharp knife, if you catch the bone, you, there's a tendency to go through the bone and right to the table and now your fish is like cut in half. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and do this by feel in that once I make this little turn right here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna lift that up to the belly and I can hear it. I can, I can actually hear it cutting. Right, right along the bone. Yeah. So there you have that filet right there. Wow, that's nice. See, so I did exactly what I said I wanted to not do and that was cut through the bone. So what I did was I repositioned my knife back here, finished filleting it out and then came back here and got, the, and got this backside and there's where I cut through. Uh -huh. Okay, I wanted to keep that nice and whole but there's my, uh, there, there's my uh, fish. Uh -huh. So now we've got this one, and the same thing here. Um, if I was going to saute this, um, I can keep the skin on after I scale it. Mm -hmm. uh, wonderful thing. Um, I can grill it with the skin on. Mm -hmm. You know, give it a little, uh, some etch markings in here so, it, so the skin holds up on the grill. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're actually making ceviche today. So we're going to, uh, you know, just finish uh, deboning this guy. And there's some bones right here in the middle. And I've actually already taken a couple of these fish, and I marinated them yesterday for you. Okay. So from here... We're gonna make some wonderful ceviche. And there's some bones right here that we're gonna cut out. And then uh, what we can do is we can cube this up. Add it to our ceviche. And uh, we could add it, but it's not, it's, not, it's not cured. Yeah, it's not marinated. It's not marinated, so, you know, again on this one too. Those little rockfish that size, I like to even cook them whole. Oh yeah. Uh, fry them whole. And fry them whole too. You score them and use a little cornstarch and flour and uh, you're, you're, you're set up for success with that, <laughs> for sure. A couple rib bones there. So, you know, again, a little fillet here, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, obviously, for sauteing and grilling, the skin really helps hold the fillet together, um, which is really, really nice. But since we're making ceviche, this is just a simple, you know, cutting it up like this. Slicing it up. And, uh, you know, just cubing it up a little bit and uh, throwing that over lime juice for about 24 hours. And there you have it. So we'll be doing that with, actually I've already done it, so we'll be doing that for you to taste. Cool. Well, thanks, Chef. Really appreciate you doing this demo for us, showing us how to do this. Remember, we're at Gladstones here in Long Beach, California. Chef Pete's here all the time. If you want to come by here and pick up one of their fish dishes, you won't be disappointed. I've been here many times in the past, well before we started filming with these guys. And Chef Pete's been really nice to have us back here and show us how to do this. It's very important you learn how to fillet your fish you can't make a great fish dish until you learn how to handle the fish properly, keep it chilled, and how to fillet it and have nice pieces of meat that you can work with. Right, cool. Thanks. Thanks. Cool. Pleasure, right. Dan. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you, guys.